Time is finally here. DD1 installer, it's dead. If you have an AMD GPU, that is. If you guys didn't know, the best way to update your AMD GPU driver or your NVIDIA driver for that matter, for some time has been to use a software called DDU Uninstaller. This software will delete your old GPU driver and any associated files and data related to your old GPU driver. So now that you guys know what DDU Uninstaller is, I'm gonna show you guys how you would use it. And then I'm gonna show you its replacement, the AMD cleanup utility. So the first thing to do when you wanna use DDU Uninstaller is to set your PC into safe mode. This can be done a couple different ways, but this is the way that I prefer to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in Windows I, that's gonna bring up your system settings. You're gonna go down to recovery, then you're gonna click on this advanced startup. Once the PC restarts, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options, then you're gonna click on startup settings, and then you're gonna click on restart. You'll see in this list, enable safe mode is one of those restart options. So you're just gonna click restart, and then once it reboots, it'll give you the option to select safe mode. Now you have two options here. You can click enable safe mode, enable safe mode with networking. You could enable safe mode with command prompt. I typically will select enable safe mode because I typically download my GPU driver before I go through this process, but you can also select five, which is enable safe mode with networking. So we're gonna select that here. So we're logged back in in safe mode. The next thing you would do is open DDU uninstaller or display driver uninstaller.exe. In here, you will select device type. So this is gonna be a GPU. It's gonna auto detect an AMD GPU driver. And then you're going to hit clean and restart. But first you should scroll down to the bottom of the options list and make sure that it prevents downloads of drivers from Windows Update when Windows search for a driver device. Basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna make sure that Windows doesn't say, oh, I don't have any GPU drivers. I'm gonna install something because that would basically negate exactly what you just did in deleting the old GPU driver and all of its files. So make sure that's checked and then you're gonna hit clean and restart. All right, and once it's completed, you'll see that it's gonna automatically restart your computer and you will be booted again out of safe mode and into normal boot mode where you can now install your new GPU driver. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is locate the GPU driver that you wanna install. I have 23.7.1, that's the best and brightest right now. So I'm gonna double click on that. You're gonna click on install. Then you would just go through the normal installation process. I'm not gonna show you that just now because I'm gonna show you guys that after we've used AMD's new cleanup utility. What's up, if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed to our channel, you should probably do that or else you might lose 20 FPS in your favorite game. I'm just saying. So now that I've shown you guys what DDU Uninstaller would look like, all the steps you'd have to take in order to do it. It's not super hard, but there are a couple of things that you would probably need to Google search to do it yourself. Now, here is what AMD's new cleanup utility looks like. All you do is find the .exe file, double click it, select yes. It's automatically gonna restart your PC into safe mode like you would have to do on DDU Uninstaller, except for you saw I took a single click. Log back in again after it's finished restarting. It's really all there is to it. You'll get this pop-up at the end that says the AMD cleanup utility has successfully completed. You can view this report if you want. Uh, I see a bunch of successes. That's all that really matters to me. And then you click finish. Now it's gonna say again, it's gonna ask you if you wanna reboot, just like you would have seen on the GDU you uninstaller utility. And you're just gonna select yes. And again, this will reboot your whole system, take you out of safe mode, and you'll be ready to install your new GPU driver. All right, then just like you would have before, you're gonna double click on your new GPU driver, click install. Now, a couple things you're gonna, you're gonna wanna do here, you're going to want to select full install. Full install is gonna give you access to AMD Adrenaline, which is gonna allow you to check what drivers you have. It's gonna let you tune your GPU performance like you would using MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision X1. You can do all of that within AMD's proprietary app. So I definitely highly suggest you do the full install and then you can start messing with fan curves, overclocking anything like that. Uh, I do not install the privacy view. I don't know what it is and I don't want it. All right, once that's finished, you can allow or not allow AMD to collect anonymous usage information. And then you're gonna wanna restart your PC one more time. I know it's a lot of restarts, but it's what you gotta do. Just like that, your GPU driver is fully installed. You can go in and open up AMD, your AMD software, previously called AMD Adrenaline. This is the pro version that is what they're calling it. You can go to performance, click on tuning, and that's right where you can start messing with overclocking, underclocking, uh, overvolting, undervolting, you know, balancing your fans, all that sort of stuff. Or if you're like me, I just click on import profile and then I've got one sitting on my desktop, this .xml file, courtesy of trap tuning. And there we go. Everything is all set up exactly how I want it. I don't have to mess with anything. So make sure if you're gonna do any sort of overclocking, make sure you save that profile and drop it somewhere 
on your desktop outside of where AMD saves it. So it won't get deleted with all the rest of that data. But that's how easy it is. It's just a couple of clicks. You don't need to know anything really. All you need to do is go to AMD's website. I've put the link here in the description of this video. And I hope this really helps you guys out. If you're on an NVIDIA card, you'll got to use DD1 installer to make sure you get rid of any of that background data that's being stored. You don't want any of that getting carried over. But for those of you on AMD, the savior has arrived. AMD has fixed all of our problems. Okay, not really, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.